So you've installed CC Vault, but what you want to do is make a clone of either your Daedalus, Yoroi, or Nami wallet. Let's take a look at how together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, let's take a look at how we can clone either your Daedalus, Yoroi, or Nami wallet into CC Vault. Let's jump in. All right, so once we've installed CC Vault, you're gonna to want to open up your browser extension, come to the main page, and let's go here to restore wallet. We're gonna restore your Roy wallet for this example, but they all work exactly the same way. And once we're in the wallet, we'll show you one other thing that you need to do for NAMI wallet, but it's really straightforward. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna click on 15 words and click on next. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna get your recovery phrase that you wrote down on your pieces of paper and you're gonna enter them into here and then when you're done, hit continue. Next, we're gonna name our wallet. You can call it anything you want. For us, since we're porting over from Yoroi to CC Vault, we're just gonna call it Woodland Pools Yoroi Port, but this name could be anything you want. And then next, you're gonna to wanna to enter a spending password, same as you did in your previous wallet. This does not need to be the same spending password you used before. It can be if you want, but it's totally up to you. So go ahead and enter a strong spending password, and then we're gonna hit save. Once we've hit save, we'll see our restored wallet will load up here. We can already see the previous payouts that we've gotten from our delegation, and now I can see here my Woodland Pools Yoroi port. I have Yoroi open in another window. If I actually bring it over here, we can see, actually we put them side by side, how about that? We can see here identical balances reflected. If we come to their transactions, we see the exact same transactions on both sides. So cool, so it looks like the restore worked properly. Let's take a look at a few other things. I'm gonna go ahead and make this full screen again. If you restored from a NAMI wallet, there's one more thing you need to do as part of the restore process. Go to settings, and as you're probably aware, Daedalus, Yoroi, and CC Vault utilize multiple addresses per wallet, but NAMI wallet only has one address per wallet. They don't use the multiple like the others. And so when you do a restore from NAMI to CC Vault, in order to not cause the confusion between the two, you need to come here and click on single address mode for NAMI. And when you check this off, CC Vault will only use the same single address every time. So if for any reason you wanna go back to NAMI or if you wanna use them interchangeably, you can do that without any problem. But a couple of other features that we wanna point out that are really nice about CC Vault. The first one is the address book. So here in the address book, if there's uh, an address you normally send to, maybe you have a couple of different wallets or your address back on an exchange, you can add a receiver, you enter their name and enter the address and then just save it. And now you can use this over and over again instead of having to track down the address and paste it in. And the other feature that we've been hearing a lot of requests for is the ability to actually lock down the wallet. Sure, you need your spending password to be able to send any transactions or interact with the blockchain, but for some folks, it makes them uncomfortable that if anybody is using their computer, they just open up their browser extension and they can see all of their balances. They can't do anything without knowing their spending password, but it really makes some people uncomfortable that your balance is kind of just broadcasted that way. So what we can do here is we can set a wallet access password, which it'll actually lock the wallet. So we highly recommend that if you're using CC Vault, take advantage of this great feature. There's really no reason not to. So go ahead and enter a strong wallet password, repeat it and hit save. This doesn't need to be, and probably shouldn't be, the same as your spending password. Go ahead and enter that. We've just done ours and hit save. And once you do, you see your wallet lock password has been updated. And as soon as we do that, we see this nice little lock icon has appeared on our wallet and we also see this new lock wallet button. So check this out, if I hit the lock button here, we see now that our wallet has been locked and you can't see any details about the wallet at all. You can't even see the balances. So now if I try and re-enter the wallet, I'll have to enter the wallet login password to get back in. So let's go ahead and re-enter the password and get back into the wallet. Awesome, so we're back in the wallet, everything looks good. A couple of last things to point out, we see sort of the obvious things you would expect, such as transaction history, being able to send and receive, but what you might not be used to is this tab here for accounts, and that's actually the next thing we're gonna look at. In our next video, let's take a look at how we do multi-pool delegation using CC Vault. We'll see you in the next video.